Welcome to the Ask Coach Mac podcast, where coaches from around the world get their strength and conditioning questions answered. What's up, guys? Ron McKeever here, and welcome to episode number 46 of Ask Coach Mac. Thank you so much for joining me today. We have a great question from Jessica, but before we get to that, I want to thank today's sponsor, Iron Grip. If you're in the market for plates and dumbbells, these are my go-to guys. I've put Iron Grip plates and dumbbells in three facilities, including my own garage, where my family and I work out. I've had nothing but positive experiences with them, and love the fact that they're manufactured in the U.S. For more information, go to irongrip.com, follow them on Twitter, or call Chris DeSanto at 509-230-3124. All right, here's today's question from Jessica. Hi, my name is Jessica Brown. I'm from North Carolina. My question for Coach Mack is, do supersets in the same muscle group cause more muscle damage than supersets in different muscle groups? Hi, Jessica. The the short answer is yes. Uh, You know, training same muscle groups cause, definitely cause more damage. There was a a research study that actually just came out uh, not too long ago um, in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research on May 25th, 2016, that looked at 20 men, two exercises uh, for the knee extensors and two exercises for the shoulder flexors. And they measured the EMG and, and creatine kinase uh, plasma concentrations. And obviously it was, it was higher EMG for rectus femoris and anterior delt. Um, and, you know, essentially it just... It, they were recommending, you know, doing more recovery um, for when you when you do that. It doesn't mean that you can't do supersets for the same muscle group, and, and there's definitely some some positive attributes to that. But you know, you know, you obviously got to make sure that you account for any kind of recovery that's that's going to be uh, needed from that amount of eccentric loading and and um, focus and intensity on on one specific muscle group. Obviously, just like you know, last week when we're talking power, sometimes logistics outweigh, um, you know, physiology. You know, and and so um, strength and power again lay on the same continuum, and uh, you know, you want to make sure that um, you know, depending on what you're trying to accomplish, whatever your your strength uh, qualities goal is for that training phase that you're, you're able to, um, continue to, to meet those needs, whether or not it's power and you're given complete rest in between and, and never really <clears throat> going to, to momentary f- fatigue or strength where you're able to get more volume and, and, uh, and, and go more towards that, um, that fatigue and that, that momentary muscular fatigue. And then obviously you've got to account for, uh, the recovery that goes with that, not just, you know, the strength training, but remember that stress takes on many, many forms. It could be class work, it could be um, relationships, it can be, um, you know, their, their recovery tactics, so whether or not they're getting enough sleep and enough nutrition and um, all those types of things. All that equals stress on the body, and uh, if you're adding additional stress, um, you, you obviously want to make sure you account for that. Where I would <clears throat> limit that would be obviously in season. Anytime you have you're in season and you're uh, you're working with athletes, you want to try to prevent doing any kind of a, a you know a superset or a triset uh, with the same muscle group. Uh, sometimes it's again it, it's it's um, it's easy to do and it, and, and logistics kind of almost force that that's where you have to make sure that when you're doing those tri sets and those supersets that they're that you're doing antagonistic muscle groups or uh, different areas of the body so that way you're getting some active recovery while you're training um, that other area and so you know I, I hope that answers your question Jessica I uh, would love to hear what everyone else thinks use the hashtag ask coach Mac 46 to continue the discussion over on Twitter. I want to encourage everyone else that if you have a question that you would like to potentially be featured on the show, head over to AskCoachMac.com. There you can ask your question by hitting the record button at the bottom of the page. Thanks so much. I appreciate you guys for listening. Here's a quote to finish off the day by John Morrison. Knowledge comes by taking things apart you know, through analysis, but wisdom comes from putting things together. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next episode of Ask Coach Mac. Bye for now.